as part of a campaign to acknowledge schools that have achieved excellence or significant academic progress. <laughs> Mayor Joanne Faella presented Golden and Silver Apple Awards to several schools in Port St. Lucie. Schools that made the transition from a D to a C, from a C to a B, and B to an A. So we presented six schools this year with awards. One, two, three. I think the mayor's on to a great idea. We're all part of the same community. I know she cares deeply about our education system, and she wants to do what she can from her position to encourage our schools to achieve A status. On behalf of the city and myself, we want to present your principal with a Golden Apple Award. We got the community involved and also that we got small businesses to support uh, either with banners or a trophy. We had other businesses supporting a free lunch, uh, you know, sponsoring a, a lunch for the school teachers and administrative staff. So it worked out really well. When she called and said, this is part of a recognition program that she's instituting, I was just honored. And I know that our faculty and staff were today as well. We hear it so many times uh, from the, you know, from the administration. To hear it from the mayor, that really means a lot. And I know that they were surprised and they were grateful. Congratulations, guys. You did it. We're so proud of them when they do their best. That's all we really ask out of our students is to do your best. Again, great job. And I hope to be here next year again. The challenge out there is to either to maintain an A or from, you know, accelerating from what grade they are now to an A. We will receive the Golden Apple Award. When I proudly accepted the Golden Apple Award, it was on behalf of the students and the teachers and the parents because it does take all of us. It takes all of us for our kids to academically achieve. Ready? Our focus is the kids. Everything that we do is about kids, and so we, we truly appreciate this award. And if I have to take away eight from 14. We're just going to continue to work hard with the hopes that our students will continue to improve.